Henry and George are two military men. And they're taking a flight on a military plane. And it's a real noisy place. Lots of stuff going on. So they have to talk over everything. And Henry says to George, what's going on with the Christ complex? Yeah, the Christ complex, Jesus is ours. Here. And George tells him, well, we're all still waiting. Someone to walk through. For there to be someone other than Stone Cold, John Milton Brady. Son of Carpenter and Mary. And that imagery on his chest, how he reaches the world. Despite those evil folks. Sent on the phone. Yeah, the amateurs of the street. The stone codes of my work comes from the very top. And I'm calm, waiting patiently. Wait. Take me to spring break. Passing along plenty of copies. Talk about the uh, massive opportunity that is Jesus' house here. Those domed homes all over the world. Oh, they don't have to be domed. But oh, domes just look nice, don't you think? Take me to spring break talking about me on every beach. At every bar. Come to L.A. That's long plenty of copies there in the uh, Lord, wherever. And uh, then come find the original. Let's get started. Now back to my mean, a street fiction. George tells Henry, "Yeah, you know, no one can get started. You get started on uh, a Christ complex, and a lot of folks will be doing that." Before the one and only, as those attractive blonde and near blonde girls next to that handsome ball guy there. He gets started on that before uh, you see that happen. Yeah, you're building your own. Hell on earth, Utah on earth. And uh, Henry says, well, I, I can see why. While we're still waiting, I went to go see that guy twice. Tried to. And uh, he has to speak up a little bit because there's some cussing and some screaming coming from, you know, right beside him. Someone's cussing, screaming in oh, Arabic or whatever the damn language is over there. And Henry says, yeah, I went to go see the guy. Got some connections on the college campuses and was going to get started. And each time I met uh, some of those California cops. And they had a nice uh, scrawny, a stone cold before me to talk to. And that's as far as I could get. And uh, George laughs and he says, yeah, I believe that. Then gets their one big uh, gas machine. They find that different. The one and only Stone Cold John Milton Brady. Called it down, called them in, called the meanness of street justice in from the four corners of the world. The meanness of, from the military pit bull project, man, women. They're in there working on those uh, dangerous folks wearing badges. They say in, half, in some of those places, half the folks are different. 
You know how the streets were. A lot of opportunity for uh, new folks, better folks. Try that again. Yeah, a lot of the folks uh, doing that kind of thing past uh, several years since uh, Stone Cold got my name out here, nickname out here, new nickname. Milton, the son of Carpenter and Mary. That's the long term kind of name. Had it for a while. George um, tells Henry, yeah, we're hearing a lot from those cops doing that moonlighting. Being in the way of Jesus' house. We were hearing a lot of, from them like this guy. And he turns to uh, Abdul. Yeah, Abdul is hanging by his balls. Got him in trouble. On the world stage. Yeah, he's an Obama. Century side to be. Century plus. That cell care plan around. Grow them a new body. As they're hanging there thinking about why they shouldn't have done that. And uh, George uh, says to Abdul. Now this is sure different than that last flight you took. Huh? I'm John Milton Brady. Come see the one only. The coming waves. They're doing a little uh, game here. We get anyone who's uh, been uh, making money where they shouldn't have been. They end up like Abdul. They talk to me uh, on my way up to get a Carl Jr.'s burger up there or uh, ideally, I won't be here too long in what I call, uh, yeah, excrement place Linwood. But uh, wherever, find me. Let's get started. We got a lot of work to do. And as always, I am these mean street fiction with a stone cold facts. Take out the first eight minutes for my uh, mean uh, military cop crowd. Now we tell the uh, attractive blonde and near blonde girls uh, walk through those fictional screens. Hold me tight. Till you uh, hear those screams just disappear. Come be a part of building Jesus' house with the one and only John Melton Brady. And yeah. Do that uh, Semper Fi video in front of all cops. For real. Your phone is censored. You want to know what's wrong with that. 424-229-4140. Call me up to check that phone. And unless you're that first person in the seven years I've been asking for those 93 checks, you make a video of that call. That's your hijacked call. That's uh, an Abdul hiding in the shadows. Make a video of that call, and whenever you see a cop, you see uh, anyone, reporters, uh, politicians running for office this year, presidency on down. Officials of any kind, any level, state, local, federal. Doctors, of course, since they're denying pain medicine, uh, committing their own little terrorism here in Linwood. Welcome, Abdul. Do those uh, 93 checks in front of all those folks. And yeah, all you military out there. 
in active areas uh, all over the world, call from there. 424-229-4140. Make a video of that call being hijacked. That's your job. Stop that kind of stuff over there, isn't it? Tell your family here. Make those simplified videos of all. All cops. It's an opportunity for the good ones to weigh in on the side of right, on the side of truth. That's a slam dunk, isn't it? You call me, you can't reach me. You don't know when else that phone won't be allowed to work like when your family, your child, needs the firemen, the police, paramedics. Same folks are censoring your call when you call them. And you can't reach them. It's still going to be a newsworthy guys. So, yeah, get those network news anchors. Local news anchors, local reporters, they're not doing their job. you got to do it for them. Tell them that. What do you know about this? And you call 424-229-4140 right now. You can call this place up, just like they called a Burlington Convalescent Hospital for a year and a half. Did not get the one and only John Melton Brady. Make that video of your phone not working, your family's lifeline not working. And yet, for you in the military, tell them you're not fighting. So Obama, he's a lame duck eunuch administration now. Whoever they plan, those on the network news not talking about a dangerous censorship of your phone, whoever they plan to put in, you're not fighting for them to steal your family's mail, to hijack their calls. They don't know when their phone's going to work properly. Tell them that in your simplified video, pass it along at church, at work, at school, on that military base. Come see me. Oh, yeah, get some military guys walk through these uh, the local cops on their way to hanging terrorist style. Semper Fi, hang them high.